right, we're here with Coach Scott Gerling from the Northwest Lions. Coach, how's been camp going? Uh, it's going been going pretty good. Uh, as we were just talking about, we have about 75, 80, 85 kids out right now. We have a couple that are a little straggling with some paperwork and stuff like that, but we, we've got a good number of kids out. We're going to be young, uh, but the kids we have that are that are here are flying around. They're, they're doing things right. Um, it's one of the probably best group of young men that we've had, um, at least here in a, in a, in a while uh, now. We'll see how it works out on the field, but they're they're putting in the work. They're putting in the time. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, there's, you know, I don't know that it'll get done this school year, but we're putting a new weight room in, a uh, new weight room addition on the school up there. Um, we're always trying to to get better with the program uh, when it comes to just you know different equipments and upgrades and stuff like that. So there's a lot of fun stuff like that that's going on. There's a lot of excitement with the kids. Uh, they're happy to be here they like being around each other uh you know for the most part and uh and i think it shows in their interactions and, and when they're out here on the field and sometimes we have to run them off uh, so there's there's new stuff there I, we got some wrinkles on offense got some wrinkles on defense all the time so uh, the kids are adjusting to it having a good time uh, and and really receptive to what we're trying That's to a do. tough one um like i said we're young we have about seven seniors total which is we had about 17, 18 last year, so that's that's quite a bit fewer than what we've uh, we've been used to around here. So we've we've got a lot of young kids, uh, juniors and sophomores that are going to play on Friday night, and it is a matter of maturing. Now, I will say it's easier, but I think our defense is a little bit farther along right now. Um, but the kids who are doing the offensive stuff we're asking them to have been involved and invested for the most part for over two, three plus years now. So they're really picking up what we're trying to do as well. Uh, but there's there's a lot of moving pieces over there, so we'll we'll see. But I, I expect our defense to be very solid early, and uh, if we can make some plays um, in the, on on the offensive side and find some consistency, we'll we'll be okay there too. Uh, Wes Knuckles is a he's going to be a three-year starter for us at receiver, and he plays defensive back as well. And and he's uh, really developed over the last couple of years in the weight room, on the field, all of that stuff. Uh, we got another re, uh, returning linebacker, running back Drew Spratt, who's been. An absolute warrior in the weight room, and and once again, um, kind of was thrown into the fire as a sophomore. He's just, he's a junior now, um, and we're expecting big things out of Drew, both as a leader and, and as a player, uh, making plays. Uh, similar, Adam Banks, uh, who played a lot of a lot of time for us as a sophomore last year, and he's an outside linebacker, kind of a Swiss Army knife of sorts on on offense. He plays about two or three different spots for us because um, he's a smart football player and can move around and pays attention and all that. As when I when I took the job, and I know it's not one of those measurables and the 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 number of wins and stuff like that. I told him that uh, we want to make sure that when these kids graduate and leave our program, that the community's proud of them, whether it's on the on the field in the classroom, really as as just as young men. And I think. We took strides towards that with our senior class this year.